Hi, this is Sharon Brennan. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator and I've been using Blogger um, to post um, things about my cards that I make and then also um, I like to show the list of supplies that I used. And I have been struggling for months on end and hours at a time trying to get my photos to line up in Blogger side by side and it has been a literal struggle. But today I found a video on YouTube by Roberta Matthews who showed a way to do it using a table but then also using HTML and I wanted to find something a little bit easier for me and for other people out there too. Um, I'm fairly computer literate but I don't like to deal with code so anyway this is what I came up with. I've opened up a blank post and we're going to call it inserting images into blogger side by side and I will be posting this with the video in it later too and then we're going to open up a blank word document and we're going to insert table and we're going to um, I have four photos that I've selected that I'm going to insert in. So two rows, two tables. <laughs> yeah, two rows, two columns, sorry. And then we're going to wait for the little arrow, four-way arrow. To, we're going to right-click on there, go down to Borders and Shading. And I'm clicking on the second one down. And I have selected the lightest gray color. And make sure that it applies to the whole table. Click OK, and you can barely see it there. I'm going to go on this little four way arrow again, right click, click copy. Then we're going to go back to our block and go in here a couple rows. Hit Control V to paste it, and you can barely see it, which is what we want. Um, then I already pre-selected four. Oh, I guess I didn't. That's right, I closed it out. Um, I'm going to go here. Uh, let's see. There we go. And I'm going to select some stamps. And we're going to select this one. And this one, oops, to get that highlighted. And that one, and this one. I'm going to load, and we're going to deselect most of them. We're going to select this one, add that selected. Oops, it did two of them. Let's see, get back in our cell there. Select this, add selected. And then if you click on the image, you'll get this menu and you hit add caption and you can type in the caption. And the name of this stamp set is a nice cuppa. Then we're going to go into the second cell, back to our image icon. Select the second one, add selected. Click on that. Add caption. This one's called Bloomin' Love. Scroll down so we can see our second row. Click in it. Click on the icon. We'll click on this one. And click on the image. Caption is Candy Cane Christmas. One of my favorite sets from the Christmas catalog, which is, oh no. And let's insert image. Select this one. Click on it. Add our caption. Oh. This is called Cookie Cutter Christmas. Off, and I think they're fairly lined up. This one may. I don't know if I can. There we go. 
hit backspace a little bit and bring it up. That's the easiest uh, thing I've done in months. Anyway, we're going to hit save and preview. And there they are, all lined up nice as can be. And like I said, I have struggled months and hours trying to figure this out. If you go back into Blogger, well, if you've used this, you know what I'm talking about. And I go and add an image. And it, oh, I think I must have a second table in here. Second row. Let's see. Yep, I did. And let's try it again. It throws it right in the middle all the time. And then if you go, even if you put it right next to it, and go to add your second one, it throws it. You never know where it's going to put it. They're always, even if I go left with this one and right with this one, try to drag them around. Like I said, it's a struggle. So Sorry about that. My cell phone rang. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this and that it works for you. I'm going to be a much happy camper now. So anyway, thanks for stopping in and you take care and God bless. Have a good day.